Hello and welcome to Histories of Last. We recently spent a week in the Full Hook Up RV Park at the Army's Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. There are also tent and RV camping areas elsewhere on the base and we think it's a great place for active duty and retired military members, disabled veterans and DOD or NASA employees to stay while vacationing in North Alabama. So stay tuned. Redstone Arsenal is gated, so you'll need a valid ID to come on base. Now, there are various types of valid ID. If you're active or retired military, regular, guard, or reserve, you're good to go with your ID card. The same goes for civilians who work on base, although their level of access to recreational facilities might vary. Campgrounds on military bases fall under the category of morale, welfare, and recreation, also known as MWR in the military lexicon. By Act of Congress, as of January 1, 2020, all disabled veterans, former POWs, Purple Heart recipients, and designated caregivers to disabled vets were granted the same access as active and retired military members to MWR facilities. Part of what those of us lucky enough to partake of it like to call the benefits program. Are you interested in joining? I'll tell you, the benefits are fantastic. The trick is not to get killed. That's really the key to the benefit program. At Redstone, employees of the Defense and the Justice Departments, as well as of NASA, also have access to MWR facilities as long as they have a valid ID. Check the link below for information on access specific to your situation. Or call the MWR office directly. They will either know the answer to your question or know who does. Now that we've covered who can camp here, let's backtrack a bit. Now, as we're driving along here, we're coming to Gate 8 as we return from a day exploring one of Huntsville's historic neighborhoods after a few days of getting used to the area. By the way, the historic neighborhood is the subject of an upcoming video. Now Drake Avenue via Gate 8 is a really good way to get to and from Old Town Huntsville, but accessibility from the major highways that bisect the metropolitan area is problematic even if you're not towing a trailer or driving a motorhome. So, coming to Redstone Arsenal for the first time, it's best to go through Gate 9, the main gate, which is bigger and is directly accessible from the I-565 Expressway. Now, there's a weird left-hand reverse turn that you have to make to get from the main road, ride-out road, into the gate onto Goss Road, which takes you past the entrance to the new RV park, and by the way, to Gate 8 from the inside. But the gate guards can explain that to you. Redstone Arsenal has two campgrounds. We stayed at the newer RV park, located within the garrison area, less than a quarter mile from the post exchange and commissary complex. The new RV park can handle the biggest rigs, all of its 70 concrete pull-through pads are 65 by 24 feet of level concrete with full hookups. The electric stands have plugs for 20, 30, and 50 amp service. Our 20-foot GeoPro Merriweather was dwarfed. Two small bathhouses, a coin laundry, and a spacious well-appointed dog run line the south side of the park. We were well satisfied with the human-oriented amenities. These structures also act as severe weather shelters. Not very scenic, you say. True enough, but you're forgetting that fabulous benefits program. It costs $25 a night or only $150 a week to camp here. There's no sales tax or tourism what-you-call-it fees either. And at night, you can sit on the veranda and listen to the whippoorwills. The older East Raposi campground is located several miles away, but not far, along the banks of the Tennessee River. 
As we leave the RV park for the drive down to the river, note the large graveled and fenced yard for outdoor RV storage that the Redstone MWR office also offers. Now, in the pantheon of RV camping, if the RV park is a Spartan's KOA, the Easter Posey Campground is a state park past due for updating. Its 70 spaces all have electric and water hookups, which by the way is better than what you'll find in a lot of state parks. But the one hole dump station is almost a mile away. Huh? So it's a bit frustrating that it costs as much to camp here as up in the new RV park. There are pluses though. It's shaded, it's quiet, it's close to the river with a boat ramp, and the Hudson Recreation Area and Nature Center are only a short drive away. And in my judgment, it's not an inconveniently long drive to and from the PX and Commissary Complex either. We didn't go inside the bathhouse, but we assume from the fact that the grounds are well maintained that it's kept as clean and serviceable by the MWR housekeeping staff as is the outside by the buildings and ground staff, who by the way we found to be exceptionally conscientious. The Carol D. Hudson Recreation Area a few miles east of the Posey Campground has a boat ramp, riverside picnic tables, and an educational nature trail. The view looking downstream toward the towering bluffs was impressive. as was the actual swamp that we found at the end of the nature trail. This was a real wow moment for we two Northeasterners. Before we go, a note about making reservations. The reservation window opens 90 days in advance and it's a good idea to call as close to that as possible. I made our reservations for the first week in May literally on the day the window opened in February. And when I called in early April about adding a day to the end of our stay, no go. The RV park was essentially full for the next 60 days. So that's our look at the camping facilities behind the fence at Redstone Arsenal. Not especially grand, but good enough for the likes of us. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up icon to like the video and share with your friends via email or social media. I'd love to have you subscribe and if you do, please click the little bell icon so you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Goodbye!